So I've exported my base and what I've done was I duplicate my base uh, just went duplicate track so I got two base tracks right here and later on this is for the single purpose of separating it into two different tracks one is gonna have the sub frequencies everything below around 200 Hertz all the all the sub and the other track is gonna have all the eye da -da 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 -da, all the eye stuff of the bass so we have more control you'll see later on now in my mix I wanna organize everything perfectly I'll just show you what I've just done what uh first thing I've done is uh, I've opened up all my folders and select all my group channel tracks like the kick and bass the leads and pads the percussion and and then I went in the mixer and I used this hide button let me just I've done this for the groups see here I have all my groups and my delay and reverb and I've done it for the kick and bass I'll just show you what I've done uh, now for the percussion which I need to do next so I'm gonna unfold that unfold my percussion so everything inside my percussion I'm gonna select including the group channel everything selected so if if I go into my into here into my mixer and I press left alt I'm hiding all these channels and this is because this chan this um, is activated if I deactivated it, everything is going to show up. And now I've, everything is set to hide. So when I press this, everything is hidden. Now I want all my percussion to show up on this layer, this layer set, this set view or whatever you want to call it of the mixer. So I'm pressing left alt, holding left alt while I press left click on my mouse okay nothing else on my percussion there and if I hide it only my percussion shows up including the group channel of the percussion in last so now I'll just come down here press plus and type percu percussion I'll press ok and it's saved as percussion here we go, there is percussion, I can go kick bass, groups, percussion, it's lovely and it helps a lot. So I'll do the same with effects and uh, leads and pads and be right back. So now, now everything is well organized, I just, um, okay, so it's like having different mixers in, in one mixer. Got my groups, if I want to simplify stuff. I'm a kick and bass, all my my kick and all my basses. My kicks, I mean, I have two kicks here because of the breakdown. My percussion, all that, lovely. Now, first thing I want to do, I don't want to have things clipping and this is, I'm not going to master it. I never master my tracks, that's, that's a different science as for someone else to do. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to level everything and leave at least 10 dB headroom. So here, here you can see. Not much headroom there. Eh, it's clipping. Oh, that's my voice. God damn it. I usually use this to see if it's clipping or not. Oh, forgot. I have two basses there. Anyway, let's start with the kick and bass. Let's make that sound good. I just hope it's not a mess to use my microphone here. Uh, let's see. Oh, my kick is gonna have a... Yeah, he's got a reverb at some point. Don't want to change it because it's automated for the insert. I'll just leave my kick right now. Let's see. Let's start with that bass technique I was just talking about. So I got this bass low. Mm -hmm. 
select something so you can still we can listen to the bass continuously so what I want to do with this bass I'm gonna EQ it you can use this filter a f normal standard filter I, I like to use Fab Filter Pro now we're using mono so you should have a, a mono filter or change the settings of your filter to mono mm, there's our bass well, what I want here is just a low frequency, so I'm gonna have a high cut. Only the low frequencies. And on this one, I want the high ones. So low cut, 48. That's it. Just adding an eye shelf so we can have a more let's see if they don't phase. That's phasing. Now phasing is when you have two frequencies going in uh, in the same place with the same kind of waveform they cancel each other that's when they phase, that they're cancelling each other so you have see this area is already being covered by the low I'm covering it with this channel as well so it's cancelled we can't listen very well to this area so you have to be careful with this So one is taking up the sub and the other one is taking up the eye. Now on the sub frequencies I don't want much rumble. <laughs> 